Hey everybody, it's Jamie, AKA the Bag Lady. It is Tuesday, August 2nd. Um, what I have for you today is a name brand handbag box and it has been a long time since I've gotten one of these. And this one comes from Phoenix, Arizona. So, and it's in a small box, not a big box. So I'm a little nervous, you guys. Um, I've been praying over it and, you know, praying for some Tory Burch or, you know, something, something good. But anyway, let me back it up for a minute. For those of you that don't know me, my name's Jamie, aka The Bag Lady. I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark, ThredUp, and The Real Real. By day, I'm a business banking loan renewal specialist. Um, now, I do need to take a few minutes and acknowledge I posted a video yesterday um, and some of you may have noticed that um, I deleted it a few hours later. And if you watched it, um, I was a little harsh um, about my ex-husband in, in that video. And my brother-in-law brought it to my attention that I, that I was harsh. And um, anyway, I um, watched the video back and a lot of what... It, it, it was harsh and a lot of it was meant to sound, I, I meant it to be funny, but it really wasn't. It didn't come across as funny. It came across as bitchy and harsh. And you know what? My ex-husband is not a horrible person. He's just not my person. Um, and so I apologize, Dan, um, that you watched that and that you had to bring that to my attention. I will pay better, you know, I will be more mindful of the way that I speak about my ex um, going forward. Um, so with that, let me get on with this box. Oh, I do have to say this. What, what was really funny about the whole situation is after I talked to my brother-in-law and apologized, I called, I called my ex-husband and how it was relayed to him was Jamie's in the yard burning your shit. <laughs> Dan always gets the story wrong, always. So anyway, um, my ex-husband and I had quite a laugh about it last night. Um, but anyway, it wasn't appropriate. So back to the purse box. I heard chains rattling too, you guys, which is never a good sign. So here it is. In true Arizona fashion, you can just pull this off. And first look, I am actually liking the first item that I see on top, but I'm a little nervous that it's fake because why wouldn't they have put this in the designer box if it was real? So... Um, it is a Gucci iPad holder. I mean, it does feel very high quality. Um, well, maybe not. What was happening in here? Oh, okay. I get it. There's like, <laughs> there's melted candles in here with a... Happy birthday, you are the best mom ever. So I'll have to see what I can do about getting that out of there. Um, but honestly, you guys, I think this is a good piece. And you know, I mean, there's a serial number inside. Damn, I might just got, I just might have got myself a Gucci uh, iPad cover. So... I don't know. I'm going to um, cl try cleaning this up um, and then I'll decide if I'm going to keep or sell. But it is not in bad shape at all. So Gucci, baby. Thank you. <coughs> Next up, Kate Spade black shoulder bag. It has the um, signature black. And it's, I mean, it's not too bad, the black and white. I mean, there's a little bit, there's a little bit of dirt around here and around here. Um, 
but it's a great leather bag. I am not seeing, I'm not seeing a bunch of corner wear. Let's see, does the zipper work on it? Zipper works. So that's a great little um, hobo style shoulder bag from Kate Spade. So I'm not mad about that. Next up, I think I've sold this bag in every color except this color. So it's the Rebecca Minkoff. I didn't even really need to look inside. Um, but I mean, the, on the plus side, this one is in black. So it may actually sell for more and quicker. You know, there's a little bit of hardware wear on the gold, but it's still a great bag. And the nice thing about this, um, the strap is removable. So you could actually use this as a clutch if you wanted to. Oh, and it's missing a nub on the bottom. Fuck me. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. I still got Gucci, baby. Okay. This next one is a Mark by Mark Jacobs um, metallic silver. Um, this, you know what? This is a beautiful bag. Really gorgeous shoulder bag. It doesn't even seem to be too horribly dirty. Um, well, there's a little bit, but um, there is on, on, on the bottom, you know, there is a little bit of corner wear and like with the metallic bags, it's kind of hard. You know, I can dock Martin it and condition it, um, but it's not really gonna, it's not gonna add any sheen back in, I don't think, because typically when the, when the metallic wears off, it's gone. But anyway, okay, so Marc Jacobs. And last but not least is this Dooney and Burke. Um, satchel. It's kind of reminds me of like, I don't know, I want to, I don't know, like Safari or something, but anyway, um, it does, you know, it's got a few issues. There's a little, little boo-boo here, a little ink mark there, um, that I can, this is a piece I can condition, um, and bring back some of the luster. The inside isn't great. I will definitely have to vacuum it, but the interior I have found on the Dooney and Burks that it is better to not mess with the um, inside because it the type of fabric it is, you just end up making the stains and smudges worse. So I will take like a vacuum cleaner to this, vacuum it out really good, and then see what we have. So these are my five bags. One, Mark Jacobs. Two, Dooney and Burke. Three, Rebecca Minkoff. Four, Kate Spade. And five, Gucci Baby. So, I might get lucky and this piece might actually pay for the box. Um, but I don't know. So... Um, do I hate this box? No. Do I love this box? No. Um, it all comes down to the Gucci piece, I believe, and what I can score from that. Um, anyway, with that, you guys, I am going to go. I'm going to make this a short video today. I'm not going to dog on anybody. I'm not going to trash any of the tools in my life. Um, I still haven't heard from that one, but anyway, I, at this point, I don't even, I don't even want to hear from them. So, um, but I do have, um, along with this box that I just got today, I do have a couple sleepwear boxes to open. Um, I'm pretty sure I've got something coming from America's Thrift Supply. 
And yeah, I think that's it. So I'm on the hunt this week for fun boxes and designer. Um, not sure if I'm gonna try another name brand handbag. I might look to see what others are getting. So with that, I'm out. Peace.